Hey, what's up guys? Caleb here from Nails with Razors. Welcome back to the channel. Gonna do a, a quick shave today. Much needed one, as you can tell. But one I'm very excited about because I'm going to be looking at this, which just arrived for me. That is Cosecha Catalana, the newest release by Gentleman's Nod. For the brush, I'm gonna be using this beautiful strawberry matte tansy with a custom two-band badger. And for the razor, for the second time on camera, I'm gonna be using the Copper Cant razor with a second-use Wisimet blade. All right, so let's talk about Cosecha Catalana. That is the newest release from Gentleman's Knot. Look at that beautiful artwork. You've got these lovely, picturesque Catalan hills, or Catalonian hills in the background. Beautiful flowers up front. Amazing sort of colors on it. There's the pour. It looks like a very dense sort of thick pour. I didn't check the weight on it. Um, let me see. It is five ounces, so it is a five ounce pour rather than your typical four ounce pour. Um, this is my third soap from Gentleman's Nod. I previously had Musashi and Zaharov Signature Rosé. It is in the C4 base, which is the new formulation. Um, although I believe that Musashi was also in the C4 base. And it, you know, ranks up there, I would say within the top, top echelon of bases in my den. I'm not using any pre-shave right now, just the soap, and I'm on a week worth of growth. Um, if you can see it through the soap there. Um, you know, no concerns there. The price point for this was about $25 for the soap US, 22 I want to say for the splash, which put it around 34 Canadian for the soap, and probably just shy of 30 with the current exchange rate. However, again, you get five ounces instead of four, so not as big of a difference there once you account for the volume. Um, I was lucky enough to win this on the BBS live podcast, or live show rather, um, Chris from Gentleman's Nod. generously decided to give away um, the set before it was released and uh, and then I won it and he sent it out to me after launch and it just arrived last week so I've been very much looking forward to using it. Musashi was probably one of my favorite if not my favorite fragrance of the past year in 2022 and I've heard more than one person say that this fragrance tops it, which is, you know, a pretty tall claim. Um, the fragrance is meant to be a Mediterranean fall fragrance. Um, Cosecha Catalana means Catalonian harvest. And so it's meant to be based off of like a fall Mediterranean um, harvest fragrance. The scent notes in the top were green, aromatic, herbal, and citrus. Dry woods and herbs in the middle. And then the base, creamy woods and amber. And it's meant to sort of take you on a journey throughout the day of the harvest in the Catalonian hills. And I'm definitely getting all of those things. A little bit of the citrus some of those green aromatics and herbal notes. I would say it is a lovely, nice blended sort of cologne style fragrance with the notes as described. I can't tell if I'm maybe a little stuffed up or maybe the scent strength is just milder than um, Musashi and Signature Rosé on the soap, but it's coming through at maybe a low medium for me at least off the soap, which is less strong than I like it. I usually like a, a bold and bang in fragrance. Um, so it is making it a little bit more difficult for me to appreciate all of those things as described, at least right now. We'll see how that evolves when I go for a second pass 
and lather it up on the face again. And especially with the splash, for me, you know, the verdict never comes in until the splash rounds it all out. Also, um, they're meant, I think if I understand correctly, there are peach notes, natural peach notes in the soap, but not the splash. So that could be interesting as well. In fact, now that I'm sitting here smelling it, I think I'm getting a bit of that too in the top. It's like the citrus is there. There's those green aromatics and herbals, and then also a bit of that peach. And there we go. This often happens where the experience or the soap almost kind of blooms and takes a different form on the second pass once I lather it up again. It's almost like once my I've gotten used to it and then I do a fresh application. It starts to take on a new character. Um, on the second pass lathering it up, I immediately got that fresh peach notes. And then some of those fresh green aromatics and herbals. And then it quickly sort of started to venture over into the dry herbals and woods. I still didn't get a ton of the like creamy woods and the amber in the at the end of the journey there. Which I guess is supposed to represent kind of the end of the harvest day. Um, you know, at night, those warm amber notes. We'll see if that comes through in the splash, but definitely got that like fresh, green, peach and herbals on the open. And then a transition to the woods and dry herbals. And so I'm getting, definitely getting a bit more of that harvest journey happening here. Um, okay, for the razor, so again, this is the Copper Cat, 0.73 millimeter blade gap, slightly, slightly past neutral exposure because of the open, um, kind of rounded off safety bar. I was on, must have been a week worth of growth there, or just close to it. And this is a second use Wismet. And it went through it like butter, like, um, like nothing really. I'm BBS up here already. And, you know, maybe I'll need like a pickup after the second pass on my, my neck or kind of problem areas that I just always have a hard time reaching in here. But, um, I don't like, usually like to use, um, blades too many times in a row. You know, I'll often see J-Mac, he'll be like, I'm on a seventh use Wismet or a sixth use Wismet or something. And he, he swears you can get like a ton of uses out of a Wismet blade. And for me, maybe because I just really like a fresh blade and I'm kind of a blade snob or something, but I always find on a lot of blades, I can almost feel a difference like it starts to tug even on the second use compared to the first use. And so, you know, if I'm starting with a new razor or anything like that, I always use a brand new blade. But this second use Wismet against this week worth of growth, just no problems. I haven't, I haven't felt a single tug yet. It's just like right through it like butter. So yeah, you know, five ounces um, for like 25 bucks US, um, which is a great deal if you're in the US. And even at, you know, 34 bucks uh, Canadian, that's still an amazing deal because you get the extra ounce, the performance, the fragrance is there, beautiful artwork. Um, so yeah, another banger. That's three for three, Chris. Good job. Uh, nailed it. And yeah, um, Copper Cant performed extremely well as well. So uh, good job me. Um, Awesome. Well, thanks everyone for watching. That's going to be it. Uh, it's Sunday here. I got to head out.
got some plans for the day. So uh, appreciate you. Hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season so far, and I will see you in the next video.